let's go to the art of God. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord in His strength, constantly seek His face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many things I yearn to gather your, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. To come in the name of the Lord means to come in a spirit of truth, to come in a spirit of charity, a spirit of love. And therefore, that is a really profound indication for you and me to know who in this world we can trust and who we should distrust. This immediately rules out CNN, MSNBC, essentially all the major news networks because they're liars. They don't, pro they don't give us the news, but they, pro uh, they uh, promote a political agenda, even deliberately contradicting the real news. We see this not simply in news agencies itself, but we can even see it happening in the Catholic Church. One of the things I've noticed recently is when we pray uh, the universal prayers of the faithful, we're always praying for refugees to find a good home uh, and to find somebody who's going to take them in, which means either Europe or the United States, I mean, if we're honest about it. But nobody's ever asking the question why these individuals are refugees in the first place. There is something terribly inadequate corrupt, or perhaps even evil about the nations they are fleeing from. And so if we want to be honest and ask where the majority of refugees are coming from in our world today, we can say, okay, we got South America and we have the Middle East, by and large, uh, and in some places in Africa. What makes South America so unstable? so unpleasant to live in, so hostile to, to human life flourishing? The first answer is socialism. Socialism gives everyone an equal opportunity to live in dire poverty. That's about it. Except if you're the ruling class, then you live in great prosperity, probably on par with the royals. The second problem we find in South America is the drug cartels. Um, they're essentially terrorist organizations running the entire southern portion of the, of the Western Hemisphere. This is very problematic. The fact that these organizations have the means to take on their national armies is a sign that their governments are not adequate in performing their duties as a government. And if we want to be helpful or beneficial to these individuals, it's not just simply a matter of saying, here, we'll open our doors up and everyone comes in. Because then the drug dealers, the cartel members, they get in too, and then we have to deal with that problem on our own soil. Part of the solution is if we want to help these refugees, these people who are suffering, is we have to help fix their culture. We have to help fix their country so that it can be stable. South America has some of the most beautiful geography in the world. There is absolute, in Central America as well, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever other than human corruption 
that people cannot flourish there. Rather than telling everyone, just run from your problems, let us teach them a great American value to hold your ground. It's a good Christian value too. To hold your ground and to address the problem. Do not flee, but to band together as a community and to be willing to lay down your life for that which is good, holy, and true. The evil of the drug cartels, the evil of socialism, is something that we must resist as Christians. We must work together with law enforcement to make their jobs easier to know where the bad guys are. And then we need to pray for everyone involved for their conversion. In the Middle East, we see widespread instability and immigration into Europe. Same thing from Africa. What is the number one problem underlying all of the Middle East? The problem isn't a few dictators here or there. The problem is Islam. The problem is, this will probably get banned on YouTube, the problem is, is you have a religious ideology that is violent towards the dignity of the human person. You have a society in which women are treated like, not second-class citizens, but like animals, and that they are beaten and even killed for doing things such as desiring an education or for driving a car. This is where the problem lies. And letting that problem come into Europe or the United States isn't going to solve anything. It's only going to spread the problem. And those people who propose this, who promote this, do not come in the name of the Lord, even if they say they are doing this in the spirit of mercy. They are liars. If we want to do good in the world, we must promote the truth, even if it is inconvenient, even if it makes us unpopular, even if we will be punished for it. We must defend the truth. Because without the truth, there can be no love. So whenever we pray for the refugees and the universal prayers of the faithful, I am also going to add a prayer for the conversion of those people and those societies in which they come from and their problems. To pray for the overturning and the abolishing of socialism throughout the world and for the conversion of all religions to the one true faith, Catholicism. Because when the gospel of Christ is heard and lived out faithfully, then and only then do you have peace. Then and only then do you live in a world free of terror, free of refugees, free of people suffering unnecessarily. Because where the gospel thrives and flourishes, charity prevails. And if we look at our own nation and say, well, it's not flourishing here, well, then we also know what the problem is here too, don't we? We need to do our jobs. We need to go out and proclaim the gospel. Let us always remember, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Trusting in God, we make our petitions known to Him. For the church throughout the world, may God bestow unity among all her peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those elected to public life, may the Holy Spirit assist them in balancing justice and mercy in their service to the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who struggle with homelessness, May the Lord in his mercy help them find adequate shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God help us grow in our understanding of his love for us and transform us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they soon rest in God's eternal light and life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord,
graciously receive our prayers and bring them to fulfillment in accord with your holy will. We ask this in the name of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself as was born of the Virgin, by the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. 
Move on the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exalt in the name of our God. body of Christ.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ the body of Christ
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hail Mary.